What's up guys? Today is Saturday and we are back at the grocery store. We gotta re-up on a few things. I finished all of my pizza, so I wanna see if they have it here. And the way I've been, people been messaging me saying they've been buying my favorite buffalo pizza from California Pizza Kitchen. I just hope that there is some left. So hopefully we can find that. Um, and then I need a few like fruit and vegetable as well. And maybe some meat if we can actually find some meat this time, but I'm not too sure. So we are about to go in this Randall's. We went to like a different location and see what we can find. And it's like my first time out of the house in a long time. Like I've been outside, like on the balcony and then to get mail and stuff, but not to like a store. And it's raining right now. Let me put my hood on. I got the carts outside. We all cleared out. Okay guys, so we're at the second Randall's location. <laughs> Seeing if I can find my pizza. I hope I can find it. Um, it was nowhere to be found in the other place that we went to. I also want to see if I can find green pepper because I'm making pepper steak, like you know, the Asian pepper steak. So let me go quickly. I'm here by myself. Brian stayed in the car this time. Oh my god, they have strawberries. You're joking right now. I think I gotta get me some strawberries. Why do they look nasty? Ew. They look like they were in a dump truck. All this brown stuff all over it. it's gross it looks like they're out of my pizza and they're pretty much out of all pizzas crazy empty 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 nothing except for these these probably might be the worst pizzas or something i don't know why there's so much even at the other randalls these were the only pizza people or pizza guys that were here <laughs> Alrighty, we're out. I did get a few more things though because I didn't have it at the other store. Alrighty, so we just got back from the grocery store. We went to two Randall's just to see if I can find my freaking pizza, but I didn't. So I'm going to show you guys everything that we got, starting off with the meat. So I got some salmon. I actually found some chicken wings. This was a rare find. I was very, very surprised when I seen this. So we are definitely going to be making chicken wings soon. Um, ground turkey, of course, for tacos. I got a whole chicken so I can make my whole chicken. Bomb, bomb, bomb. I'll probably make that sometime this week. I got chicken breast for like my salads or if we want to do pasta. Got chicken breast for stir fry as well. And I got some lean beef, which I don't really like beef, but Brian does, so I can use this for his tacos. Not that I don't like beef, I like burgers, but I don't, I rather do ground turkey and I do want to make pepper steak so I got these right here so it's like I don't know they say it's for stew but I'm gonna use it for <laughs> pepper beef okay so I got a bunch of produce I got cilantro for tacos cucumber for salad um, I got some lime for tacos I just have lime water some Brussels sprouts because I, I haven't cooked with Brussels sprouts before so I definitely want to try it. So I just got a few just to see how it goes. Um, one red pepper, one red onion, um, some habanero peppers. What are these called again? Jalapeno peppers, two yellow onions. Love onion. Onion is like my favorite. I got ginger for the pepper steak. Mango, just got one mango to see how this ripens. I got two blueberries. This was also definitely a great find because I couldn't find blueberries anywhere for so long. So I picked up two of them. Um, got some tomatoes. And then I got this super greens, baby chard, baby kale, and baby spinach. I'll just have this with my salads. And then some broccoli. I also did find strawberries, which is also a great find because I haven't seen strawberries in so long. And I guess because it was out of season, they were really like sour. So hopefully these ones are good, but we'll see. We got some more turkey bacon. We got some chips, Brian's favorite. Um, I got another bottle of sriracha because I was running out. I got some rice vinegar for when I make the pepper steak. Um, we got some 
turkey pepperoni. Oh, I'm going to save this for later because I'm going to show you guys something soon. We got some rice. Literally, there was no rice, so I magically just found this. And then I picked them up, so we got two little bags of rice. Um, so this should hold us over for a minute. We don't eat rice too, too much, but um, sometimes we do. And with all that meat, we're going to need some grains. What's up, guys? So today is a Monday. It's about like 6 p.m. right now. I'm about to start cooking. I'm going to make some chicken wings for Brian and kind of for myself um but i'd rather have salmon like i can literally eat salmon almost every single day just change up the sides so i'm gonna make myself some salmon and him some chicken wings and um the sauce i'm gonna be using i'll probably do a cook with me video since we are social distancing still and there's nothing to do um so the sauces that i like to use are the honey garlic this is president's choice honey garlic you only can get this in canada or toronto um and the cayenne scotch bonnet pepper sauce you only need a little bit of this because it's hot it's very spicy so yeah anyways me and brian actually just finished up bible study um we've been trying to do it every day now um just because we're both home we both have the time so it's like why not make time for the word so we did we broke down Romans 9 which is a very very powerful read so this is actually the new bible that he got me but he said he's gonna get me another one because he kind of he kind of messed it up a little bit so this was one that he got me this is the king james 1611 um this is my old bible that i had since i don't even know it's been probably eight years or so since i had this one so i just use this just because it's easier and i know um where things are in this because i've never used the 1611 before i just use king james and then this is my notebook with all of like the different precepts and stuff like that so that's what we worked on today anyways let's get to cooking 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 ow personally for me what i like to cook i like to have a glass of wine it just gets me in the mode and then i like to watch tv at the same time so i'm about to pop this open this is the velvet devil merlot 2017 and it's washington state sorry if you can hear all that shooting brian is playing the freaking game right now he's addicted to that um call of duty so um yeah i'm going to have a glass of this and this is perfect this one is not a cork cheers okay so first things first i already washed my hands i'm just gonna open this up Ooh. Okay, I'm actually going to let this thaw out for a little bit longer. It's still very, very cold. I left it in the fridge overnight and it's still like it's still pretty frozen. So I'm going to let this thaw out for a little bit longer. I'm going to make my salmon right now instead. Okay, so I got my salmon right here. I have just, I guess, two cuts, which is two loaves or two pounds. <laughs> so first thing I'm going to do is put some water and vinegar in this just to rinse it off. I'm gonna pat this down just so it takes off the excess water. You can take the skin off if you want to, but I really don't care. I don't mind it on there. But I know some people just hate it. Going to drizzle some olive oil. Personally, for me, I don't really like the fishy, 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 fishy taste. So I like to season my salmon really well. Salt and pepper just doesn't cut it. Like, I need a bunch of different things. So salt, black pepper, garlic powder, paprika, parsley flakes, and red crushed peppers.
I'm gonna put the stove on maybe seven or eight and then I'm gonna preheat the oven to 375 so in the meantime while I was waiting for the oven and the stove to heat up I just cut me up some onions because y'all know I love me some onions um, so I put the onions in when I'm about to put the salmon into the oven just so it can caramelize and get nice and sweet drizzle some olive oil on that bad boy so I don't really care how I cut up the onions because I will eat them either way. That's how much I love onions. So we got this going right now. I'm about to put in the salmon. I'm going to put it on the opposite side of the skin first. Anyways, I'm going to leave this here for two to three minutes on each side. Switch it around, do the next side, and yada, yada, yada. <laughs> As y'all seen, I am opting for lime instead because I have no more lemon, unfortunately. So I'm going to use lime instead. I think it'll taste just as good. So squeeze a little bit of that on, just a little bit, um, so it can soak into the salmon. And my oven just went off, so I'm about to pop it inside. Oh, y'all, I totally forgot to put in my onions. Before I put it inside the oven, I'm going to dash my onions on it. And I already drizzled it with um, with olive oil. Okay, so now we can put it into the oven. So I'm actually gonna let that go in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. It really depends on how you like your salmon. Do you like it well done? Do you like it crispy? Do you like it rare? Do you like it medium rare? I like mine's not well done. I like it medium well pretty much. So I'm gonna let that go for a little bit and then pretty much done with that I just need to do the vegetables I don't really need to show you guys that but um, I'm probably gonna do broccoli so super simple however I need to check on these wings now see if I can start cooking them because Brian's about to be hungry in like 20 seconds when it comes to these wings since I'm kind of in a rush I'm not gonna explain anything I'm just gonna do it so um, if you guys want me to do a video on it I can definitely do that in the future but or we can actually make it together in the future, but for now I'm just gonna zoom, 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 and you guys are gonna listen to some music. Yeah, I've been waiting to tell you how much I miss the way you turn me on. Yeah, oh, it's been playing on my mind and my emotions now for far too long. Yeah, said we shouldn't go, there's time to move on. Let's do this again, baby, prove them all wrong. I know I tend to overcomplicate, but this time I know we belong. Alrighty, y'all. So I was multitasking, playing music, drinking wine, and I freaking was seasoning the chicken, and I almost forgot about my salmon. I left it in there for 27 minutes, so a little bit over, but honestly, depending on how you like it cooked, you can keep it in however long you want. So I left it in for like almost 30 minutes. So this is what it's looking like. It looks delicious. 
it looks really really good right now so I'm excited to dig in the onions can go in for a little bit longer but either way it's still okay let me try one let me try one but this is how the salmon is looking it looks great just how I like it so we're gonna do a taste test of the salmon it's so hot I don't know if you guys can see the steam right now literally just took it out the oven Mmm, the lime gave it a nice kick. Yeah, the onions can go on for a little bit longer, so I'm definitely going to do that right now. So we're going to be using an air fryer to make these chicken wings. Um, Brian's mom actually got this for us. It's called the New Wave air fryer so thank you mom Since I shut that door So won't you just love me Love me like you It took forever. It's the wings that took forever because I have to wait like 15 minutes each time. So it took a long time, but I am done. I'm going to put together our meals now and then we're going to probably play um, Bananagrams. Bananagrams while we eat. It's like, y'all probably seen so much how already we like create words and stuff. So we're going to do this while we eat or we'll probably play a card game, but we'll see. So. Yummy. Alrighty y'all, this is my food. I forgot to show you before I doused it in freaking balsamic vinaigrette, but broccoli, I got the um, you know, Brussels sprouts, salmon, and rice, and my caramelized onions. Let go! Um, Brian can tell you how the wings were. The wings were very good, very delicious. I liked them very... What did it taste like? Like a little kick to it. A little kick to it, not too much, cause I don't like that much of a kick. It had a little kick on it. I know. I I tasted it before I gave it to him, and I'm like, I would put a little bit more um, scotch bonnet pepper, but I know him. I don't want him to be like, I don't like it. I know when he doesn't like my food. I know when he doesn't like it. Nice. I do. You won't have. He won't have like thirds, fourths, anything like that. If he likes my food, he have first and second. And whenever he's hungry, he'll eat it. Go, baby. Okay. Right now we're playing, what game is this called? VC. VC? Yeah, Vietnamese cards. Ew, you just farted. <laughs> I heard that little poop, baby. <laughs> yeah, we're playing Vietnamese cards. He teached me one day and I whooped his ass like 30 times. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,